Hey gang, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're going to talk about Dyna changes and adding uh, fields uh, to other tabs from other tabs. Um, this is a very useful thing that not everybody should have access to do. This is a permission based thing, but the understanding of it may help you um, request things that would make you doing your day to day jobs a little bit easier. So we're going to do a pretty simple one here. Um, I always hated when I had to go to a whole separate tab to put in some delivery instructions and set up a carrier. Uh, I want those to exist on the order tab as much as I can have on this main order tab is what I want to do. So I'm just going to right click here in, uh, in a blank spot in the order tab, go down to Dyna change, and I'm going to go to screen designer. Now you notice that a d available design pops up, uh, essentially any that have been saved already, um, will be displayed here and you can either create a new one or you can edit an existing one and you can also see the roles and users that this is assigned to um, because it's important to note that if you create a dyna change and assign it to a user that overrides if it's assigned to their role you generally want to try to go role first if you can um, but you can only have one screen assigned to a user slash role uh, you basically can't have Kelly that you saw on that one couldn't have two different uh, screen order tabs assigned to her. But we're going to do a create a new one. Uh, and the ad adding fields like this is one of the most common and simplest ways to do that. Um, we're going to come down here to food field chooser. And this is going to show you your out of the box fields that you can literally just click and drag and drop. Uh, so we said we want to do carrier. So we're going to drag that in here. Um, and then we wanted to do delivery instructions. Um, now there was something else that I wanted to show you. Um, sometimes fields that you bring over do not actually um, allow you to edit those. Uh, so let me find that. So here's profit percentage. So if I drag and drop this, you'll see the difference between carrier and this. You will notice how carrier is white. It's, it, it's open to be edited is what that's saying. Uh, same thing with delivery instructions. It means I'm going to be able to interact with these fields. Uh, now, profit percentage you'll notice is gray. And if I click on that, you'll notice it's protected and I can't unprotect it. Some of these things are hard coded where you cannot get over them. Um, so you may find some fields you try to bring over are not going to really work for you. Um, but a lot of the more common ones will. Um, so I'm going to remove this field because I don't really need it. Uh, and you also notice, and I, I didn't say anything, you can make these fields larger just by dragging and dropping, which obviously just delivery instructions you would want. Um, I'm not going to go through and show you how to align and make it all pretty. I'll probably do that in a separate video. Uh, but right now we're going to hit save. Now you would hit save as if you wanted to start uh, from one of those other designs and then you wanted to save it for somebody else. Uh, it's always a good habit to name this. Uh, I do module and then tab and then version number. And that's just how I've always done it. So this was the order entry screen. Uh, I'm going to underscore and I'm going to say order tab. And then I'm going to underscore again. And for this case, I'm going to say it's version two. Um, a description is required. Um, and this is the other important part here. You can assign to a role or you can assign to a user or a combination of both. So if we had multiple roles over here and it was admin, but then I also wanted to uh, add D Clark into that, even if he's not an admin, I could do that. I do recommend trying to go role first versus trying to, to manipulate a bunch of different menus um, for users. Uh, but we're gonna select the all and we're gonna hit save. And that all is the name of our um, role in this test system. Uh, and we're going to hit close here. Uh, now you're going to have to either log out all the way sometimes, or you might be able to use the close and rebuild. So give me one second and we will do that. So we're reopening sales order entry and we should see our changes. Uh, now, sometimes th they won't line up exactly where you thought they were on the screen, but as you can see here, carrier and delivery instructions are now included. Uh, so if I wanted to start an order, I am now able to manipulate those. And the nice thing is what it does is um, if you put a note in here, if you set the carrier, uh, it is actually updating the same info on the ship info tab. So if you have 
carry or deliver instructions showing up on your documents already. It's not a new field. It's just allowing you to access those and edit them from the front tab instead of having to bounce back and forth. Um, we're going to have some more Dyna changes videos coming uh, down the road. Uh, if you have any questions about those or, or any other topics you want to see, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.